Like, how your first time in Mexico City, you're getting a, a, a pay per view, your fourth fight in the UFC. It's been it's been a it's been a long year for you. I mean, you, from the filming of the of the Ultimate Fighter till now, you haven't really rested a lot, right? No, I've been uh, constantly going, but um, I love it. I, I like to constantly move forward, keep keep going, and um, it's great. Here I am now in Mexico City for my fourth fight in the UFC, and I think I've got a great opponent. And I, it's on a on a pay per view on a special card with uh, special fans in front of us, so uh, I can't wait. You met your opponent yesterday in another interview. Uh, what do you think of him now that you've spent some time with him? He's a nice guy, like most people in this in this sport. Everyone's a nice guy. They work hard, to, to, especially to get to the UFC. You have to work hard and uh, be disciplined and uh, not have an ego. And that's exactly what uh, Dodger is like. He's a nice guy, but unfortunately, uh, only one of us can win. So I'm just going to try my best and, and, and get my hand raised on, on the night. Connor was saying in another interview that you thrive on 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 enemy ground, that you, that you like going, getting booed and getting the, the crowd on top of you. What is it about that that ambient that, that you like when you're fighting? It's not even the booze. I just thrive off the energy. And uh, for fans in in the world, you can't get much more energy than, than the Mexicans. They're very like the Irish. They scream, shout, and have a lot of passion. And I'm just going to feel energized from that. It could be booze, it could be cheers, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to feel the noise and it'll, it will energize me and I think it will make uh, for a great fight. What is it about the Irishman that, that makes you such... I mean, you, you've had great boxers, great athletes, but now great MMA fighters. Uh, yourself, Connor, Joe that debuted the other day, got a great fight, Ashling, Patty. What is it about the Irishman that makes them such good MMA fighters? I think it's in our genes. There's a fighting spirit in, uh, in our genes, much like the Mexicans as well. We've, uh, we've had to face a lot of adversity in our history, and I think that just passes on through the generations. Uh, we've always been fighting uh, uh, for, for hundreds of years in Ireland, uh, so we're just born fighters. You're getting a, a great opportunity on a big card. Connor is getting the first UFC title shot for your gym. W what's the, the mood like now training? Uh, it's amazing. It's just going straight. It, every, every week it gets bigger for us. Something else is happening, and it's amazing. And uh, We have a great team behind us, loads more guys ready to jump in from the UFC. So a lot more Irish guys to, to, to join us, and um, the sport is thriving in the country. What is it about John Cavanaugh that makes him such such a good trainer? Um, he's just his ability to break down complex things and make them simple is a, he's like a maths teacher. In fact, he said if he wasn't a coach, he would have been a maths teacher. And he can take a big problem, break it down into small pieces, and make it very simple. One last question: What can the Mexican people expect from Cajal Pendred on June 13? You can expect a guy who doesn't quit, who just keeps coming forward, who fights with passion and a lot of heart and is going to put on a, a, a great show.